Okay, so chapter 10, question 4. Um, this one here is a paired um, test, okay, where the two people are related and therefore we're looking to see the differences between those two um, survey, those two actions. All right. So a question on a survey of marital satisfaction of dual career couples was to say, I write the statement, I'm pleased with the way we divide the responsibilities for child care. The ratings went from one, strongly agree, to five, strongly disagree. And the table below contains ten paired responses for husbands and wives. Conduct a hypothesis test at the five percent level to see if the mean difference of the husbands versus the wives' satisfaction is negative. Meaning that the within the partnership, the husband is happier than the wife. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to subtract the wife's score from the husband's score to see if it's negative or not. All right. So to do that, we're going to go to stats, and we're going to put this list of data into the calculator. So stat edit, and I have data in there, so I need to clear it out. So press up, so we go to L1 and hit clear, enter, and now I'm just going to put in the wife's score. So three, enter, four, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter. 2, enter, 1, enter, 1, enter, 2, enter, 4, enter. And now the husband scores. 2, enter, 3, enter, 1, enter, 3, enter, 2, enter, 1, enter, 1, enter, 1, enter, 2, enter, 4. Okay. So now, in list 3, I'm going to subtract L2 minus L1, because I need to subtract the wife scores from the husband scores. So I'm going to go up to the top here where it says L3, and I'm going to type in second L2 minus second L1. So now notice it's telling it that L3 is going to be L2 minus L1, and when I hit enter, it's going to do the subtraction. Okay, so I have my my data here in L3. So now let's look at the um, null and alternative hypotheses. So we're interested in is the wife satisfaction level negative? So that means it's less than zero. That's the alternative hypothesis. The difference between the two is less than zero. All right. Therefore the no hypothesis is that the difference is greater than or equal to zero because remember they have to be opposites. Okay, so that's how we get A and B. In part C, we're asking what does that represent? Well, it just represents the difference in the husband's and wife's satisfaction, the averages. Okay, what is the test statistic? Well, because this is data and we don't have. Um, uh, any population standard deviations, we're going to use the t-distribution. Now because this is a simple single thing, okay, yes we had two pieces of data to start with, but we're really just interested in this one column of data, we can use a regular t-test, okay, which means that we're going to do t, go to functions, subscript, and this is going to be just n minus 1. So they said there were um, 10 paired responses, so 10 minus 1 is 9. Okay? What is the test statistic? Well, we're going to go and find that out. We're going to go to stat tests, and this is, remember, I said a single t-test, where we have data, so we have to highlight data, enter. What is the mean? Well, we're testing that this is equal to zero, right? And that's our, our alternative, is that's less than zero. Helps to put it in the right one, okay. Um, where is the data? It's in list 3. That's what we're interested in, is list 3. The frequency is 1. Our alternative is that it's less than 0, so we need to highlight less than 0 and calculate. 
This gives us our t statistics of negative 2.71. Uh, three decimal places, 2.7136, so that's where that rounds to 4. Okay. What is the p-value? The p-value is 0 0.0119. What does it mean? It's the probability of getting this average, this negative 0.6, if the null hypothesis is true. So if d is greater than or equal to 0, there's a 0.0119% chance of getting a um, mean of point, negative 0.6. Which graph is it? Well, there's only one that shows less than. So less than. This is greater than. This is not equal to. This is nothing. I'm not sure why they ever do that. What is alpha? They told us alpha was 0.05. Go back up the top here. 0.5, the 5% level is significant. So remember, 5% is 0.05. What are we going to do? Well, 0.0119 is less than 0.05. So that's this answer. It's point p value is less than alpha. We reject the null hypothesis. So that's why we reject. And that tells us that there is enough significant information to assume that women are less happy than their husbands, that the this is true, and therefore um, why satisfaction level is negative. And why do we choose this? Well, because they are paired samples, all right, um, then we use the t-distribution. It's a small amount of things, um, so there's all kinds of reasons, but you know, they're um, dependent upon each other. They're a paired distribution, so that's why we use the t-distribution here.